Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now this is going to be a long video, probably about 10-15 minutes. So I hope you got your popcorn ready because we're only going to be basically looking at one variant but I believe this is going to be an entire team of you as well. And I'd apologize if I do forget any members of the bumper safe team as there is a lot. And I mean a lot. And this is only a comparison for the new punchy wipeout which is in the newest case of case K. Of course, this is my original punchy wiper. As you can see, he's got some dents. I've had this from, I believe, 2010 or maybe before, or just a bit after in 2011 when I started collecting. But I've had, had a few cars before 2011 and I wasn't really collecting until 2011. So, yeah, here is punchy wiper. Now, we'll take a look at his packaging and we'll compare it. So, shout out to Piston Cup Directions for starting this series for his Thailand and China. But, yeah. Here is Punchy Wipe Out, the name tag there. There is the car. We'll compare it in a sec. Here is the artwork of Bumper Save or Punchy Wipe Out. Cars logo there. Blue Desert in the Danico 400 series. Made by Mattel. Here he is in the RSN logo. There's the RSN logo again. Made in Thailand. Got some other cars. We've got Sage. We've got Sidewall Shine. Slider Paskowski. Um, Kevin Shiftwright and Clark Scruggs and of course we've got the bear here which reads after the Danica 400 a tiebreaker race is needed to determine the winner of the Piston Cup that is the packaging now we'll take a look at the closer close look at the car he's got the 90 there very nice bumper save logos at the front there's his nice moustache 90 on the headlight we've got the Thailand eyes there's 90 on the roof there with roof laps. We've got the support window bars there. We've got bumper save. We've got the little holes at the back too. We've got the spoiler. Here's the back. It'd be the bumper save with this um, red, yellow and red stripe. Headlights. Got a bumper save logo there. 90 which I did say earlier. We've got some sponsors. Piston cup, nitride, mood springs, retread. Octane Gain, No Stool, can't read that one, Gas Gates, Gas Brain, Easy Idle, RPM, Lily Top B, Leak Less, I can't read the other one, and Clutch Aid. Thailand quality control is getting way much better because I can actually read them now, even in the packaging. So that is really nice. But yep, now comparing them to the um, China release, of course the eyes are different as usual. As you can see, very nice. Here's the back, not much difference. Yeah, that is uh, the view on Punchy Wipeout. We do have some other comparisons that I will be comparing him with today. We got the Cars 3 one, and we've also got the other one here. As you can see, there are some differences. Here is the incorrect black rims version and the corrected yellow rims. So it's changed rims from movies. Which is very nice. Which actually, for those Disney Docket fans, Bumper Save is also another team that has had three different co rim colour changes. So here is Punchy from Cars 1, Punchy from Cars 3, he's got the yellow rims, and Paul Conrad, he's now got the red rims. So yep, that is a team that has three complete different rim colours for three different races. Yet here is the full team, the three races. Very nice. We'll put Punchy in the back there. Now this is the incorrect Punchy too, because um, there is also another Punchy wipeout here with blue eyelids. As you can tell, this is the correct version. I don't have one open. I would love to have one open, but yeah, we'll put him in the background too. He's got incorrect black eyes there. We do have some other variants of Punchy. We've got the Thomasville Tribute Punchy wipeout. Put that aside. We've also got the very brand new XRS Racing one, made in Vietnam. Don't know what it is, but Mattel's problem with bumper safe, but there's a lot of members. we also got the incorrect black rim variant, which is harder to find in the UK, I believe. In the package here, very nice. we also got um, some other cars. We've got 
Paul Connor with a new colour changer, which is a bit burgundy to the actual die cast. That's that one. It's going to be fun putting all these videos, these cards back. We've got Paul Conrave, the actual next gen, in the next gen series. Very nice. Um, I might put him here actually because he is a main racer. I'll put Punchy there. We've also got the Fireball Beach Paul Conrave. Very nice in the Fireball Beach line. We've also got Rocket Racers. Which there has been two recent new rocket races found, which I have ordered, Ed Trunk and, and George Newin. They could be here tomorrow or they could be here Monday. Who knows? Paul Conway, made in Vietnam, very nice. And I do also have Paul Conway opened from the Fireball Beach series line. As you can see, Fireball Beach with the sand. See the difference? Well, this one is the Thailand one. There's also been a Disney Store version of Paul Conrad, which is a pullback. Very nice. We also have the hauler here, which I do have one in the box. We do have more box stuff onto the right hand side here. It doesn't actually fit in the whole screen. Maybe when I do a view on the hauler, I might have to review it from this angle. But, yep. Yeah, that is the hauler. You can see, I can. And clip it obviously. There's the whole lot. There's the inside as you can see. Very nice whole lot. I really like Paul Conroe's hauler. My second favourite hauler now because John Holtz did. Which I did order one of him too, so he should be here soon. Here is um Ben Dorman, which has been recently been given with a name, which I will show you proof he has a name. Here's the calendar. Ben Dorgan or Dorman, whatever you pronounce his name. Ooh. There's the crew chief. Very nice. We also got some pitties. Here are the three pitties. There's four, but one's in that hall of set, which I do have as well, boxed. And my favourite all time member of the um, bumper save is the tractor. Just because I found this exact one. This exact one because I opened it in New York. Which is very nice memories. Now we um, also have another bumper saver and Rusty's Cruise 2 pack. 2 packs are really very hard to review as well. I just realised when they come to it. We've got the Paul Conrad tractor there. Very nice. Bumper save. We also got the 5 pack with the China version of Paul Conrad in it. As you can see, there's the 5 pack. Paul Conrad. And I get a good angle of where it says made in China. Probably not. There, there you go, made in China. We have that 5 pack. Then we also have a boxed Paul Conrad holder, which is sadly a bit damaged because it arrived damaged. But yeah, it was still super cheap because of that reason. Very glad that I got two. And again, because we got one really cheap because of the exact same reason, we got the Cars 3 Punchy Wipeout Ruler. As you can see, he's got damage on the exact same corner there. But he is brand new. I do not have a second one, so unfortunately I cannot show him. And probably my Pride, probably my, actually one of my most expensive box sets that I've got as a whole is this um, punchy wipeout bumper save team with the very rare pity without the gun the bumper save hauler from cars one very nice and of course punchy wipeout very nice and that's probably one of my rarest sets in my collection apart from the bum convoy brothers and the big owl i don't have the pities as a um, team set which is a little bit unfortunate but yeah, let's just bring back some members of the team now. we got the hauler here, we'll put him at the back. That's a great shot, actually. we got Punchy, the two variants. we also got the Fireball Beach pull from with. we got the Tractor. we got Ben. 
We also have the pitties. Oh, and there is one other thing that I did forget, as I, as I knew I'd forget one thing from Bumper Safe. We've got the Mini Racer Paul Conrad 2. So yeah, that is the full team. And of course, this was supposed to be just a review on this, but it ended up being a whole team, which was my only problem. But yeah, put the Mini up there. So yeah, let me know what your favourite mem member is of the Bumper Safe team. Mine... This is a hard one, like I said it's the tractor, but the member, the actual genuine member, I mean it's not Paul Conworth because his diecast is made in Thailand which drops it a little bit, I guess I have to go with Punchy Wiper and then the hauler, because again, the hauler is not exactly that rare nowadays as it used to be, like it used to be worth about 75 quid and now it's worth like 30 or 40 quid, but yeah. Um, should be getting the minis calendar soon, so that'll be a view on the minis calendar. And yeah, uh, if you're new, please make sure to leave a like, dislike if you dislike, subscribe if you're new, hit that bell notification button down below to the next one. Bye guys.